I remember the first time I set foot on a stage and feeling so alive. You know, the lights hitting my face and that little thrill in my heart. And I have to be honest and say, I still get that today on Broadway. today. She is joining us as the spokesperson for Hennepin Theatre Trust Spotlight Program. Laura Osnes is my role model for not only life but also theatre. She's been in Anything Goes, Bonnie and Clyde, Cinderella on Broadway. We get to sing for her and ask her a few questions. I'm so nervous to sing for a big Broadway star. One of Hennepin Theatre Trust's educational initiatives is the Spotlight Musical Theatre Program. We have been around for 10 years. Spotlight seeks to serve statewide Minnesota high schools and their musical theater programs and communities. It's always so fun to come back to Minnesota. I'm sorry that it's raining today, but hey, um, it's sunny in here, huh? I participated in the Spotlight musical theater program when I was in ninth grade in my high school at Egan High School. I remember it being really captivating. We were getting to perform at the State Theater and I felt so professional getting to perform on the stage and working with the people we were working with. There is something about doing high school musical theater that is so special. It's about these young people at such a pivotal time in their life where I feel like if you don't fit in anywhere else, you fit in in the theater world. If any of you are singing today, just know that this is not like an audition. Don't be nervous about this. This is not like singing for me or trying to impress me. I feel like we're all here to just like learn today and grow from each other. The Spotlight Musical Theater program offers a variety of different things to each school. They get workshops, they get a formal evaluation process, and from that we designate the honors and those individuals and schools that are recognized get the opportunity to come at the end of the year and perform at the Spotlight Showcase. I need the air is French, that chair is French, this nice sincere sincere is French. Someone beside me to have and to hold a real life Hercules harmonize. When I participated in the Spotlight Musical Theatre Program, I believe there were 12 schools involved, and it was one of the first years that it was happening, and um, this year there are 67 schools across the state of Minnesota. I think one of the best things that we can offer these students is the opportunity to work hands-on with professionals. But like when I turn around, like, can't, like convince me. A life that's got to be more, you know what I mean? There's, there's power in in trying to, in wanting it so bad that you can't just sing there and be cute. Let's see the determination. Let's see like this girl that we haven't seen. Make sure you, whatever you do, you fulfill, you fill out, you know, to the end of the music that you are like committed in the final note. In the actual music it goes, with me, and it goes back up to there, but oh. like I lost my breath and I was like, no. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> I'm thrilled to get to come back to my home city and get to kind of help encourage and inspire the up and coming generation of musical theater kids. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. The largest piece of the program is our Spotlight Showcase and those individuals and schools that are recognized get the opportunity to come at the end of the year and perform on the Orpheum stage. Tonight we are on our third spotlight rehearsal night so we did some outstanding number work which is really fun to meet kids from different schools. Each group gets one day to learn the music, learn the choreography, and put it on its feet. We get one day of review, and then we're in tech. So I guess it's early in the sense that we it's our first day, but we get one day. Two, three, and one. One. What's amazing about this group is that 
one, they have relationships within their each individual school, but then they come together for an event like this and 60 kids have this incredible experience where every one of them is a star. Come on! Time out, time out. We are gonna go into the audience and it's Dance Party USA. <laughs> Till the end. Okay. I think this is a fourth number they've learned this week. I have about two hours, two and a half hours to stage the entire number. So putting this together in the amount of time we have is absolutely crazy. You are actors and actresses, singers and dancers. You are the best. Well, let me be the judge of that after this performance. This rehearsal right now, it's going to be um, all the kids who are awarded an outstanding performance by the Spotlight program. Yeah, Waste you're actually just kind of here. here. Yeah, because um, if you get here, your arm's going to get caught. Okay. okay. You just want to be like right there. Okay. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, love it. Great. Yes, dig it. Oh my! I love that. I love that. The Triple Threat Award is the one competitive piece of Spotlight, which is an otherwise non-competitive program. And what we're looking for is the TLC, is what we call it. So we're looking for talent, leadership, and community. It was a pleasure. Seriously, I had a ball. Okay. Have a good week. Peace out. Great pleasure to welcome you to this year's Spotlight Showcase. I love being a performer, but the beauty of the Spotlight Musical Theater program is that every student who takes part is essential to a musical success, from the lead to the lighting tech. It's not just about the performers. They get to stand in the spotlight and get the applause at the end of the show, but everyone has to know that the applause is also going towards the stage managers. And then there's the costume people, and then the lighting technicians and the sound technicians. You know, everyone has a different gift, and I feel like theater encompasses so many different strengths in so many different people. As the spokesperson for the Spotlight Musical Theatre Program, I've been thrilled to get to meet up with the Triple Threat winners, um, both in New York last year and then hopefully this summer as well for this year's winners. Congratulations to the 2014 Triple Threat Best Actress from St. Paul Conservatory for Performing Artist, Angela Steele. The crazy thing about moving to the Twin Cities was that I had no idea what a theater city this is. It's crazy to me that there's this entire community of people that love theater as much as I do. I think that's so cool. Congratulations to the 2014 Triple Threat Best Actor from Washburn High School, Davis Cleveland. To me, the Triple Threat program is about being a good performer, but it's about a lot more than that. It's about being a leader and about being a peer supporter, and it's about just loving what you do and giving your all at it. And I owe it all to you. I think it's so important to instill a love and a passion and an appreciation for the arts. I can only imagine how now with so many schools involved across the state, how many young kids are going to be inspired to continue to dance and sing and act their way to Broadway or wherever life may lead them. Bye.